Okay, folks, I've now imported these files into REPL because this is where I'm actually going to do my development. I quite like REPL, it's online and um, I don't have to do any sort of hosting or anything like that. So I've whacked my HTML straight into here. Okay, the HTML renders this here. I've got a little library picture, it's got search for book title, search for author. Um, I can click on sign up and this gives me this modal. Click into login, it gives me this modal. If I do log in, it won't do anything apart from just get rid of the picture itself and refresh the page. Okay, so there's nothing going on there, particularly in the background. If you want to know how they work, head over to script.js. There you go, and you can see how it resets the block and all that sort of business. This is not um, a CSS or HTML course in particular, okay? So I'm not going to walk you through that. That's something you can look at um, yourselves. But what I want to do is connect this to my database. So how do I do that? Well, first of all, I go into the library. Okay, I click on this little cog here, project settings. So I'm in Firebase, project settings. I've got my library, and I now need to link my database into an app. So I could do it with iOS, or I could do it with Android. Um, I'm going to choose a web app because I'm just using JavaScript. I'm going to call this my library. Okay, and at the moment, I don't want Firebase hosting. Okay, I can set this up later, but I just want to leave this as it is. Okay, I don't want to do it on my laptop because then it's a bit fiddly. I've got to do all sorts of command line stuff. I'm just going to register my app straight away like that. And this should give me this lovely little bit of code here. Okay, so I'm interested in two bits of code. I'm interested in this script here. Okay, I'm going to copy that right and take it straight into Firebase, uh, the HTML. Put it right down here, just at the end. There, perfect. Um, I'm not too fussed about these analytics, so I might just take that out. Okay, and then if I go into the top here, I've got my JS script there, and I'm going to take this top little bit of code here, copy that, and I like to put that at the top of the page. Okay. Okay. So this one is always required okay um, this one gives us the analytics which I'm not too uh, bothered about at the moment okay um, it is possible to jiggle around with these and just get the bits of the firebase that you actually want okay um, uh, and I watch you want the firebase firestore I think so I'm just going to change this take the analytics out and just put firestore and you can read about this if you all want yeah but this should give you the firebase app will probably give you everything you need you might even be able to take this away okay so you can have the little bits of libraries that you want okay so i'm going to take uh, i'm just going to leave all that there there it goes okay so that will now be quite neat and the final little bit of the jigsaw is that after this app i want to define a constant okay and so what i've done is i've copied Put this little bit of line of code in here db equals firebase.firestore there it is so i've got firebase initialize app and then i've got this db now i can now use that across the whole of my platform and i can just refer to, uh, refer to the firestore as db okay so that will then pick up this firebase configuration okay and drop it into firestore there so that's all looking pretty good at the moment and we're pretty well set to start trying to extract some data from our database.